Hey everybody, it's Rasheen Taylor. Uh, I got, this is like just a little update, I guess you could say, for my channel, for my viewers, whoever uh, actually occur or whatever. Um, for the past three years, I can't believe it's been three years I've been making these videos, talking about the end times and the stuff going on in the media and politics and things of that nature and the uh, hidden secrets going on in government and Bible prophecy and things of that nature. But now it's like I've, I've grown, matured, uh, elevated, I guess you could say. Not 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 saying that what I was doing was immature or nothing like that, but it's like times and seasons that God takes us through in life. And I feel like that season of my life is over. So, I mean, I've been spending more and more time with God, praying more, uh, getting more and more into my word. And he's just been revealing certain things to me. I'm coming into a new season in my life. And with a new season comes growth, elevation, changes, uh, and just a lot of different things are happening and are about to happen in my life from this point and beyond. And so it's like basically I'm going to I will continue to do videos, but I'm not going to be talking about what I was talking about. Because I feel like that time of warning and that time of, you know, exposing all that, all, everything that was going on, that is still going on, uh, is is come to an end. Like, I mean, all the warnings are out there. The dreams are out there. I just recently had another dream, but I don't feel led to talk about it in this video, so I won't. But, uh, like my... Like my dreams haven't stopped my the scriptures I'm hearing when I wake up in the morning they haven't stopped but it's like I've warned the people and I will continue to warn the people as far I'm just not gonna make videos about it that's that's I guess what I could say I'm not gonna go on YouTube trying to debate about the pre mid or post tribulation or I'm not gonna be talking about you know every news headline and why it means we in the last days. I mean, we already know that. And, but it's like, I mean, it, cause it gets to a point where people, they base their whole spiritual life on Bible prophecy and the end times. And they start doing nothing for God. They, they, they don't worry about spreading the gospel or praying for the sick, uh, you know, doing, bearing fruit as a Christian, as a follower of Christ, that's what it all boils down to. It don't boil down to being right about Bible prophecy. It don't boil down to, you know, gathering and gaining all this information and head knowledge about the end times and what's going on in the dark and exposing it to the light for the world to see. You know, it. you, you can't base your whole spiritual life on that. You got to remember it. You have to go out and bear fruit and be a witness to others, to love on the people that the unsaved, the non-believers to spread the gospel regardless. You know, it's not about being right about every single thing about the end times or winning debates about scripture or, you know, just debating about everything. Like my, one of my recent videos, somebody, uh, commented about the rapture and I had them email me and we was emailing back and forth and they expressed their opinion and I expressed mine. And I was like, well, I, I respect yours, but this is what I believe and here's the scriptures and here's why. And we was able to leave it at that and talk about something else. And that's what you got to do because time is running short, man. It's not time for debate. It's not time for all this uh, confusion and dissension in the body of Christ. It's not, it's not, 
it's not time for all this division that's been going on. And, you know, like Jesus talks about, he came to divide, but he wasn't talking about the body. He came to divide, to it basically to make us become holy, to cut and separate us from the rest of the world. So it was talking about, you know, you, you must hate your mother and father in order to love and be a follower of Jesus Christ. Not saying hate them like how we look at it, but love God more. That's all it's simply saying. And so that's where that division comes in there. But when it's talking about the body of Christ, we are not to be divided. It talks about that. And I believe the first chapter of 1 Corinthians, when it was talking about, you know, is uh is Christ divided? You know, some say I'm of Paul. Some say I'm of Apollos. Others say I'm of Christ. You know, we, 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 we get into all these debates and arguments and then we start saying, well, they this group of people not saved because they believe this. These people not saved. They false prophets. They, you know, and, and it's not about that. You know, everybody want to be right these days. The Bible talk about that. Like, everybody running around gathering all this head knowledge but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And that's, I mean, it's so evident in these last days. And, and it's causing a great division in the body. And now you got a whole whole um you know i'm baptist i'm church of god in christ i'm pentecostal i'm apostolic i'm and then these groups clashing with each other when it's all supposed to be coming together and to be to be about christ anyway but we divide ourselves we're doing exactly what satan wants and that's what i i've come to see that like when i look at the comments on the re the old videos i did or I look at uh, things that's going on, and I would put it out, and then people are like, "What? Well, no, this is this doesn't mean that. This means this. This means this. This means this." And everybody gets to arguing and debating over a simple Facebook post, YouTube post, and like the whole world is looking at this, and we can't even come together. What makes you think a non-believer is gonna look at that and want to be like, "Hmm, I want to go to church. I want to come to Christ." They're not gonna look at it like that. They're gonna be looking. They're gonna be looking at it like these people can't even get along. So why do I need this Jesus that they're talking about? So my my main focal point is spreading the gospel, uh, bringing others to Christ, loving on other people, uh, spreading the word physically and not just online on the internet. Cause God don't care about your little Facebook scripture that you post every day or. Your, your your tweets or your your countless millions of videos that get viewers and things like that. He cares about who are you offline. Who are, are you really bearing fruit? I, I believe it's Matthew seven talks about every tree that does not bear fruit shall be cut down and thrown into the fire. That that's symbolic of the Christian that bears no fruit. On the on that day of judgment, you will be thrown into the fire. It you 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 can't have this thinking of I believed and I went through this whole ceremony, so I'm saved and I I'm saved forever. I'm good now. Don't get under that hyper grace mentality because you gotta bear fruit. You gotta you know. Salvation is for everyone. It's a free gift for all, but it's a maintain. You gotta maintain your salvation. You gotta. It's not a works based as far as receiving it, but you gotta maintain it day by day. You gotta wake up and die daily to your flesh. I recently I began praying, and I wanted to spend more and more time with God. And I promise you, every single day God wakes me up between 4 and 4.30, and I spend an hour with God. I And it, it's like I was asking him for balance because I'm a husband, I'm a father, I got a full-time job. And I'm like, if from the point where all my kids wake up in the morning and then my wife, I, I'm locked in. Like, I, 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 won't, I won't have no time for God. So he made it to where you have, 
you you can give me your first fruits. You can give me your time in the morning. I wake up before everybody else, and I put that time in with God. And it's just been so amazing, man. Like he's been really changing things in my life and transforming my thinking. And and I don't know. It's just elevation, spiritual elevation. And like y'all saw in my last. Me and my wife's uh, recent video, our special announcement about us moving to a new city, like, that's symbolic. Like, he is really doing something in our lives, and I'm just thankful for it. And I see it. I see the elevation. I see the growth. I see what he's doing in our lives, and I see what he's trying to do and the point that he's trying to get us to spiritually in our lives, in our marriage, in our walk with him, and our assignment as being parents. And it's like... I'm I'm just yielding to the Father. I'm doing, I'm I'm going in the direction He want me to. Because if I, if not, I could I could probably stay in the same city, continue making countless YouTube videos, putting stuff out, putting out information, saying, "See, this is why we in the last days. This is why we in the last of the last days." Every headline you see, I mean, you can't keep up no more. Like we know that now. It's it's evident. Anybody, any Christian saying we not or this has been going on forever. Second Peter chapter three talks about you people. It calls you scoffers and mockers. People that will say things like that. This has been going on forever. Where's where's God? Where's God? I mean, not even Christians though. I'm I'm just saying Christians that will say that because they're they're afraid because they know they're not ready. And you get you you see a lot, you get a lot of that. I get a lot of that. I got a lot of emails saying, you know, uh, I'm ready. I'm trying to go to college. I want a family. I want this. I want that. Okay, but meeting God face to face is so much better, so much more than tangible, physical things on the earth. Colossians 3 and 2, set your affections on the things up above and not on the things of the earth. So it's like, don't, don't. We just passing through. We don't make your home on this earth so permanent. Don't look at it so permanent because our life is like a vapor. It's like smoke. We here one day, we go on the next. You see, I see so many people that die or things like that. They somebody on Facebook could be, oh man, I was just talking to that person. I was just sitting next to them. Now I won't never see them again in this life. Our life is like a vapor, so don't, I'm not saying don't pursue a career. Don't, nah, cause I, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I just got my first degree and I'm going back to school, uh, in the fall. So, don't, I'm not saying don't pursue to, you know, be financially stable or nothing like that. I'm saying don't make that your God. Don't make that your idol. Don't put that before God. Don't put a spouse before God. Yeah, I was praying uh, before I got married for a wife and everything like that. I was in my college dorm room. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know that same year God was going to do it for me, but he did it. But don't make that your idol. Don't make that your God. And I know it's a lot of people that want that. They want the marriage. They want, you know, the degrees and success and things like that. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that at all, but don't put that before God. Don't make that your God. If you find yourself spending more and more times with spending more and more time with this stuff rather than with God you need to do a heart check you need I, I asked God where I was with him because my spiritual mother was saying how we don't do that we don't ask God to show us where we are in our walk with him and I did and he sent me to Revelation 2 5 you need to repent or I will come and remove your lampstand. I was like, whoa. Like, I, I thought I was all good. So then after that, I'm 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 just like, okay, I'm gonna ask him again. A few weeks later after that, he gave me Matthew 13, 5. And it talks about those that receive the word with gladness and joy and happiness. And you know, they feel so hype and amped up and happy receiving the word, but then when you go through trials and persecution in life, you start to lose faith. You start to stop obe being obedient to God. That was me. 
And I, I, I went and told my wife, God gave me that, that, he gave me that scripture in prayer. He spoke that to me. And I told my wife, and she was like, yeah, that's you. And I was, you know, your spouse know you better than everybody else besides God. And so she, she knew. She was like, yeah, that was God. And I was like, I, I, you know, but he was telling me, you know, I'm going to help you get to where you need to be. Just trust and depend upon me. Like, spend time with God, man. You will hear his voice. Spend, spend more and more time with God, you know. Spend time with God. That's all I can say. Because you will hear his voice. A lot of people say, oh, God don't speak. If 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 it ain't in the Bible, it ain't God. And this and I mean, you got to weed out the different voices that you're going to hear in the spirit realm. But God does speak. He said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. His sheep hear and know his voice. Ezekiel chapter... Not Ezekiel. I'm studying the book of Ezekiel, so that's why I popped up. But uh, 1 Kings chapter 19, Elijah heard the still, small voice of God. God has a voice. He still speaks. Whether people in their doctrines and denominations want to believe it or not, God still speaks. He speaks to me. And I'm just thankful for how he uses me, how he's elevating and, and cultivating and growing me uh in this season but like i said it will be no more videos about six million headlines of why we in the last days and uh things like that but me and my wife we will continue to put out the videos we've been putting out the bible studies the faith talks 101 uh, it was her idea <laughs> but I, I i just found it to be after it was mainly a, around 2015 and then up to this past election. I saw people, like, my videos was jumping, like, as far as views. And then it'll die down. Or some uh, some crisis will be going on and I'll be talking about it. Or i title the video about what I'm talking about. And then the views will go up. And then i start talking about the things of God and they'll go back down. So I'm like... I don't want no kind of glory or notoriety for talking about certain stuff, but then when it comes to God, don't nobody want to hear it. So I'm strictly focusing on talking about the things of God. If God gives me some or a dream and I accidentally, you know, the Holy Spirit leads me to speak on it in a future video with my wife, I will. But right now, my, that won't be the main focus of my videos. We're going to be talking about God his word and Bible studying. And if you like it, you agree with it, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you choose to go and watch somebody else because this ain't what you're looking for, cool. I appreciate it. God bless you. And I thank you all for watching this video. Uh, pray for me and my wife and my family. We're going through so many changes, man. Like, it, it's unbelievable like it's it's happening so fast like it was just may 1st and then my son's birthday hit may 15th he's one year old already and now it's june 3rd like time is really flying but our move will be you know like we said in our last video late july uh august sometime around in there so just be praying for us for us the moving situation uh Pray, uh, just keep us up in prayer. We we really appreciate it. Everybody needs somebody praying for them, man. And my mother, she recently reached out to me to have me pray for somebody. And I started adding them on my prayer list in the morning time. And the guy showed me something about that person today. And I was crying like, everybody needs somebody praying for them, man. Just remember that. Keep that in mind. God bless y'all. Thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Watch and subscribe to my wife, uh, Kiki Taylor, K-E-E, K-E-E -E Taylor. Uh, she always said I don't ever shout her out. So go watch and subscribe to her too. Uh, God bless. Thanks.